Hi, I'm Aaron with Vivo, and today we're going to be going through what to do if your uh, Mount EFD 70 here is stuck in the up position. Uh, just note there will be a TV on here when it's more than likely when it's stuck, and we'll go through how to remove that when we get there. So first thing you want to do is remove the power cable uh, from the unit to make sure that's not in the way. And then next thing you want to do is locate the three screws on the back of the unit. Uh, they'll be back here and you'll want to remove those with the screwdriver. And then while holding the TV, you should be able to pull out and the belt will release out of the back of the unit. Here. Once the TV is down, you'll be able to remove the five screws out of the back of this plate here and that will allow you to remove the TV off the mount so you can take the mount off the ceiling here. If you remove the four screws in the corner and then loosen the middle one, it will allow you to uh, more easily remove the TV. With the middle screw loosened, you can take the plate off here. And at this point then, you should be able to locate the screws mounting the unit to the ceiling. Most of the time, there are gonna be two in the eyelets here and then either one in the back or two in the sides. While you remove the unit from the ceiling, uh, if you have two screws in the eyelet holes, go ahead and just loosen those so that the screws are still in the ceiling, but the mount can still slide off of them. With the mount down, find a place to lay it down, and there will be six screws located on the back panel of this unit. One of them will be, will be behind this warning sticker here, but that is okay to remove that in order to access that screw. With the screws removed then, you will be able to lift the back of the panel here and pull it out from the tabs. You can set that off to the side then, and you should be able to locate this pulley here that we took the three screws out from back here before. And what you can do is you can lift this up in order to access the points where you need to get the belt back in here. So here what you can do in order, in order to reinsert the belt is lift up slightly and you will want to unwind this belt here. And once the belt is unwound out of there, what you can do is re rewind this around this pulley here, pull it through, pull up this pulley unit here, slide the belt in through the opening where you took it out before. You can line up the two holes in the belt here with the two holes located on top of each other in the pulley unit. And then push this back in. To ensure that the holes lined up, you can look through the holes here. In my case, I can see that the holes did line up. You can then take the three screws removed before, and you can insert those screws into the unit. And once those three screws are back in there then, then the belt is back in secure into the unit. You can lay this back down then, take the panel, and you will want to realign this, the two tabs in the back, laying this down, and you can reinsert the six screws to secure the back plate to the unit. So with everything reassembled on the unit then, you should be able to remount the unit to the ceiling. Um, if you had the screws in the eyelets, you can slide the eyelets uh, over the screws and then secure the other bolts onto the unit. Um, and then at that point, you can rehang the TV by reinstalling uh, that plate that we took off earlier and retightening down those five screws. And then uh, you should be able to plug in the unit and do a quick remote reset just by holding the OK button on the remote after plugging it in. At that point, you should be good to go and uh, be back to using the unit. And that is how you fix the belt on a Mount EFD 70.